everyone, welcome back to another random creature design where we design a random creature from three random animals and today we got a foal, salamander and kangaroo. Let's see what we can do with those. So yeah, welcome back to another creature design. I know you guys liked the last one, so I thought we would do another one. And I do really enjoy doing this, so I should really do it more. Um, so when I first got these three animals, I was a bit uh, unsure if I liked them or if I didn't like them. I think the salamander kind of threw me off. Um, but then later I remembered that Toothless kind of resembles a salamander. And I was kind of inspired by that to do my own. Um, as you guys know, I find some references to use when I'm sketching the creature and I go at it and just mash up the animals, basically. So when I started sketching, I decided to use the salamander for the head. So I, the salamander is my main animal for the whole design. Um, I used the body of the foal, um, you can see it in the neck and the front legs, uh, but I kept the toes of the salamander just to tie it a little bit more together. It would be weird if I gave him hooves. That would have looked weird. It would maybe have been cool, but I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, and then I used the kangaroo's legs, the hind legs, and also the tail is kind of half between like kangaroo and salamander. I'm kind of imagining this guy like jumping around, setting things on fire. Um, that's kind of the, the character I've given this little trickster of the fire-breathing thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I've been, I was quite lazy with the design of this one. Um, I didn't care to make different like thumbnails and figuring out the design. I just went for it. Um, which might not be the best idea when you're trying to make like a serious design. But for me, when I'm doing the random creature and characters, I'm kind of just put on the spot and I just have to go with whatever I feel like going for. And this one just felt right, it just felt cool, so I just went for it. I feel like that could be one of my strengths and one of my weaknesses, because sometimes I should have taken more time to go through the design and figure things out, and then sometimes I can do one design and just move on to the next one and the first one is still good. Uh, a lot of the times the first design you do is the best one and then the other ones you do are kind of just like trying out the things but you know the first one is better. Um, so that's kind of what I felt with this one, I just went for it as I said. Uh, for the colors I wanted to... I wasn't sure if I wanted to do brown or dark um, but I ended up going with the salamander's colors that are kind of bluish grey, dark black, and then the <laughs> bright yellow spots. And I wasn't planning on making the spots glow, but it just sort of happens. And that's where I got the fire-breathing little dragon from. And I can just imagine this being a hush-hush, yeah, as I said, climbing, jumping around, setting things on fire. Um, kind of like rodents are a pest to households, like gnawing and stuff, this guy just sets things on fire, which would be a lot more complicated to get rid of and deal with <laughs> than just mice or rats. Uh, but I thought, yeah, it was just like a happy accident that I made it glow and then thought of fire and then went from there. Um, I don't have a lot of tips to give you guys for this video. I did give you the full how to design a, a creature for the last video. Um, so I don't have anything specific to tell you for this one. Um, so if you guys have any questions about me designing creatures specifically, uh, please tell me in the comment section down below and I can answer it in the next video. And that will kind of give me a way to help uh, <laughs> explain what I'm doing. Because to me it's just like straightforward, but to you guys it might be mysterious and magical, which is not. Um, and I want to teach you guys how to do it, so ask away and I will help. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the random creature, uh, I hope you thought it was cool. What would you name this creature if you would have him around as a pet or a pest, I don't know. Uh, whatever you would have him as. Um, I want to know, so give him a name down below and I will look at it later. Uh, anyway, I will see you guys next week. Bye bye!